Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're out here at the goat herd. Uh, we're going to catch you up on what's going on with the herd as far as our issues with abortion, kind of what we've done about it uh, in the past couple of days since our last video. And also, we've got to run these goats through the chute again today and uh, give them their second round of antibiotics, uh, trying to slow this down. Um, but in our last video, I, I kind of talked about all the things that uh, could possibly be the case of what, why we're having abortion here in the herd. Um, we still don't know what it is. I will say I took two of these does uh, to the vet on Wednesday, so uh, three days ago now, and we uh, got some blood drawn from those two. Those two are the most recent ones that aborted the uh, black-headed nanny. Uh, two videos back that uh, had the stillborn babies and also our big savannah doe that that miscarried as well. We got blood taken from them. Uh, we got it shipped off. I don't know how long it's gonna take uh, to get the results back from that, but that should hopefully tell us what's going on. Unfortunately, if it's chlamydia, it's not gonna tell us that. Uh, we have to have a fetus or a placenta to send off to the lab uh, to figure out if uh, it's chlamydia. But hopefully that blood test will tell us something and we know what's going on. I will say since we, uh, Hit them with antibiotics the other day. We haven't had another abortion since. I've been checking the herd uh, four or five times a day and nobody seems to have aborted or have any, any issue. Uh, Maddie just got here. She's going behind the post. But she's going to help me uh, catch these goats up. We're going to work them. We're going to give them that uh, Biomycin uh, 200, uh, kind of a generic version of LA 200. Uh, we're going to give it to them four and a half cc's per 100 pound weight. Uh, so we're gonna catch these up. We'll um, get them work, get film a little bit of that since we didn't get to film any of it the other day when I was working by myself. And uh, then we'll talk some more about it once we once we get them going through the shoot. Uh, but I'll flip the camera real quick and uh, show you the herd. Everybody's looking good. Uh, we're at 141 days, uh, possibly bred now. Uh, so we got about four or five days until these girls, if they do decide to kid, uh, that baby should make it outside the womb. Uh, so we are we're within five to five to fifteen days of seeing some babies. Hopefully, hopefully healthy babies. But let me flip the camera around real quick. We'll check these girls out, and we're gonna see if we can catch them up. these girls might be a little bit of issue today i'm gonna grab some uh little buckets of and throw in here with feed uh, but they don't really like coming in here um, every time they come in here i'm here they get worked get some kind of shot or something and it's pretty muddy in here but the wind's blowing pretty good uh so it's drying it up uh, but we're gonna see if we can catch them it might be a little rodeo for a minute uh, but we're eventually gonna get them all done uh, whenever Whenever we get done uh, giving them their antibiotics, they're gonna go back up to the front pasture, uh, give this pasture a little bit of a break and kind of get them back on the, the right uh, rotation that we had them on um, before we brought them down here the other day. I just kept them down here since they're already here and it's easier to catch them. So let's see if we can catch them and get to work. So after a little bit of frustration and maybe one or two cuss words, we got them all in here, uh, ready to go. Got one loaded up in the chute. It's gonna be the same thing the other day. I'm gonna use this Biomycin 200, four and a half cc's per 100 pound weight. 
I'm just sub Q. I'm going to go on, on the opposite side of the neck uh, that I did the other day. Um, I'll hand the camera to Maddie. We'll record this first one, and then uh, Maddie's going to help get the next one ran up in the chute. And so hopefully we get through these pretty quick. Well, we got everybody through the chute, got all the antibiotics taken care of. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and move them back up to the front and uh, let them rest, uh, kind of chill out. It's kind of stressful. I don't like really stressing out pregnant nannies, uh, but this is something that I think is helping our situation. But we're going to get them back up front. They're going to hang out for about a week or so, and then we're going to move them to the pasture where I want a kid in. Uh, we're going to give this pasture a little bit of a break. Like I said earlier, we kind of skipped them ahead. Uh, just so we can have them down here. But let me get some feed. We'll walk them back up front and get them all situated. And uh, we'll wrap this video up. We'll talk about kind of what we're expecting in the future for us, the situation and everything. But let's get them back up front real quick and uh, then we'll talk about that. So they're going to be hanging out in this pasture right here for the next couple days. Uh, it's got some good rye grass coming up in it. It's got some fescue in there as well. They're only going to be on it for about two to three, maybe four days. And then I'm going to move them up to our front pasture where our barn is uh, so that we can prepare for kidding, get that barn ready in the next couple days. And uh, we should be off to kidding. Well, it's the next day now. We got a little busy doing some other things yesterday afternoon. Never got a chance to wrap up the video. Uh, but we got all our goats moved back up front. Uh, they all got hit with some antibiotics. Uh, that's the last round they're going to get before they have babies. Uh, we should be expecting some babies on the ground within the next 8 to 10 days or something like that. Hopefully none comes sooner. Uh, just got back to the farm here, and it looks like everybody's good for today. I've been checking the pasture about uh, three or four times a day trying to, to catch a fetus, on a fresh fetus or a fresh placenta. Uh, to take to the lab if possible but hopefully we don't see any of those and hopefully uh everything is going to go smoothly for us kidding hopefully we're not going to have any more stillbirths i mean hopefully we're not going to have any stillborn kids or any more uh, abortions uh we'll just kind of have to wait and see uh, it's going to be probably a week or so before i have the results back from those blood tests that we got drawn uh, so hopefully that's going to be able to tell us something um whether it's some kind of bacteria that they picked up in the pasture, something they got from, you know, simple as a water source, um, all kind of different stuff that me and the vet uh, kind of went over. Uh, he asked me, you know, what was I feeding, you know, mineral, uh, what dewormers I was using, uh, water source, you know, asked about Clyde, and any new animals on the farm, asked about a whole bunch of stuff, and we never could uh, come across anything that really pointed to one one thing other than the possibility of Clyde bringing something in. Um, the only thing I think he could have brought in is is possibly chlamydia. I think everything else uh, was, is more a environmental issue. So um, hopefully the blood will show us something. It's something minor uh, that we can make adjustments for. Or maybe it's just something weird that was happening this year. Uh, we don't know. Um, it's gonna Hopefully the blood test will pretty much show us everything but the chlamydia um, so I'm hoping something's on that blood test because I don't know, you know, if we don't get, get another stillborn kid or, or something like that, we might not never, might not ever know what exactly was, was causing this. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want a stillbirth and I don't want, 
um, you know, fetus or anything like that in the pasture that I can send off, you know, so it's kind of, I wish I know, knew, I wish I know what's going on, but I don't want to see it again. Um, but we'll kind of, we'll just have to see what the blood test brings back. Uh, hopefully it's, it's something that we can correct, like I said. Um, until then, we're just going to keep crossing our fingers, praying that that kidding season is going to get off to a good start uh, with some live, healthy kids. And uh, we'll go from there, whether we're going to be culling animals for the nannies that already aborted. Haven't made a decision yet till I know what's going on. Uh, so with that being said, I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the, the update on our situation. Uh, it's going to be something that we learned from, and hopefully we can share it with y'all uh, so y'all can learn as well. Uh, and uh, we're just going to keep on chugging along, and hopefully we've got some fresh babies on the ground here very soon. But I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and leave us a comment, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one.